Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Optobotomus, and I'm coming at you again with another Transformers video review. This time I'm doing Transformers Classics 2.0 Universe, whatever you want to call them, Galvatron. Now, Galvatron obviously is a tank, which is a far cry from what we saw initially in uh, the Generation 1 Transformers, where he was a big giant cannon type of thing. I did not get instructions with this, so there are a couple things that I'm a bit unsure of that are rather interesting um, that I really can't comment too much on too much because I don't know what they do. He, he's a decent figure. Um, he's a lot smaller than I thought he was going to be. He's pretty small. In terms of size-wise, here he is next to my animated Bumblebee. A as you can see, he's barely bigger. Uh, I mean, he really, I mean, you can tell that they're pretty much the same size. Now here he is next to Prowl. And as you can see, like, he, Galvatron is a deluxe class, but he's pretty small for the sizing. It's very kind of disappointing, actually, in terms of the size. But, Regardless, he, he's a fairly nice figure. As you can see, he does have where it says Galvatron 20, Galv 25, I apologize. It's this greenish kind of silver color with some more silver here in the front. His missile does fire. And goes right back in, like so. The, uh, the turret will rotate a full 360 degrees, but it won't really pivot up and down. I mean, that's about it, but that's kind of the transformation, kind of. So, that's pretty much it for the robot, or the alternate mode here as the tank. Now, to go ahead and transform him, what I like to do first is go ahead and work with this guy. So, take this section here, fold this. I've only transformed him a couple times, so I apologize, bear with me. You want to well, extend this out and rotate this section here all the way around, folding this down, and this will tuck under, and you will expose one of his hands. I don't know if you can see that. So that's out. Then you have to come up to here, and you have to pry this apart, and it's a bit of a pain. You have to really get in there and pry it and then as you pry lift the cannon up rotate the cannon and then you can slide this piece back together and now you have his hand in what will be obviously his arm with the cannon then come down here and wiggle this just kind of separate this on the sides and something fell out which I'll get to in a second once you get that kind of loosened up then you can come up here and separate it there again just kind of bend that in to separate this come around here to the front take these sections here fold those down just to kind of get them out of the way just like so take this back section in between his legs just tuck that back then you need to rotate the torso in the lower body so that this purple section is in the front you had it that you want it rotated so then when you do that rotate it again and rotate it back you have that round piece in the front so what you do again fold this section down I'm sorry fold that section down rotate that and rotate these are the feet. Go ahead and rotate those down. Position the feet correctly. Do the same with this side. Rotate it around. Position the feet down. Now you have his legs pretty much formed, except for the fact that you got these big guys still sticking out. Take those and fold those down, and that'll slide the shin forward. So again, watch the shin as you fold it that will slide forward. You can peg that in there, keep that nice and tight, and that forms his legs. This is the piece that fell out. This is attached to his arm. So go ahead and bend this down. It normally is up here, oh, which you can't see. 
sorry. So this piece right here, that little peg was up here, and this is his arm, which is supposed to be in here, but it's very loose. So you rotate that out, and it'll pop off again. That's my only complaint so far, really, with this figure is this arm, and it's annoying. It's like it doesn't want to go in all the way. All right, now you got that down. Go ahead, bring this out. The hand is underneath here. Flip that out. And you're going to see that happening a lot, guys. And then take this little piece here, fold that down. His arm, right inside here, you need to slide it forward. And then it rotates a lot easier. Right there. Bring these bring this bottom section, go ahead and bring that down, just get that out of the way, pop this piece off too, this has a lot of pieces that pop off, so bring that down, bring this back piece down as well, and then there's pegs here, I don't know if you can see that yet, peg here and peg here, they peg to the underside of this uh, tank guy, or these back pieces, so it'll be positioned like so. Put that down like that. God, he's back heavy. Real back heavy. And then take this section here, lower this, and you see his head peeking out, and you lift this up, which you can't see. Lift this chest piece up, exposing his head. You can pull his head out the rest of the way. Boom. And there you guys have, in his robot mode, Transformers Universe Class Galvatron. Um, okay, a couple things. Well, that, that would be it for my video review, my general description video review and such of Galvatron. So stay tuned in part two. I'll show you guys how to train. God, this is going to begin to aggravate me. I'll show you how to transform the guy and uh, give you some more pointers and such on him. So stay tuned. Yeah.